In Zambia Babies Home, an organization under the Child Welfare and Adoption Society has been the cornerstone of child care within the Kampala Archdiocese for 55 years now. Located in Zambia, this dedicated institution has provided shelter and nurturing care to over 10,000 abandoned children over the years, aged between 0 to 5 years. At present, the home cares for 27 children, most of whom are brought in through probation officers and the police. Upon arrival, a child undergoes a thorough medical examination before receiving essential care and basic needs. The primary mission of the home extends beyond immediate care. There is concerted effort to trace and reunite the children with their families or relatives whenever possible. Sister Maria Ted Nanyanzi, the administrator of Insambia Baby's Home, emphasizes the crucial need to trace the families of the children. She believes that children should not grow up in institutions, but rather in a nurturing environment of a family. The dedicated staff works tirelessly to ensure that each child receives not only physical sustenance, but also emotional support and love with the ultimate goal of family reunification. We have to make sure that we look for their parents out there. There is a process of tracing for their relatives because it's way we are not we are encouraged not to keep these children in the home or in institution. The institutions are not the best places to to grow from because you might you may look at a child when he's looking healthy or beautiful or what eh? People come here and say, my goodness, they look nice. Wow. But of course, they are losing many things. They are missing out. You know, the family, is, it, we are supposed to grow up from a family, a family set up. Even if someone is not your real parent, but at least if it's a, a family set, a setting, you are able to get a uh, uh, proper growth. Tracing the families of the children at the home is a challenging yet essential endeavor. Last year alone, they managed to reunite 87 children with their families, while 15 children were placed with foster parents and three were adopted. However, there are difficulties including the long distances and substantial resources required. Well, this exercise is not so easy because you have to go there several times and some of the homes are very far, like you go to Kapshora, you go to Mbale, Masaka, it's, not, it's quite <laughs> hectic. You need a lot of money, even time, even, it is not easy. Even transport, everything, we need a lot of, uh, we need to be facilitated. But we are trying and we are doing, we are doing it. If he happen to have all the sources, I think he will, the percentage of uh, reunification would be a hundred percent, but right now it is like 80, 80 percent of them are returned to their homes. Then like 10, 10 can go to, or five percent go to foster parents, and then like one or two percent to the, to be, uh, yeah, they adopted, and the rest are, they remain in the home because they're afraid to get to their parents. Bennett Bakanzewa, a social worker at Insambia Baby's Home, explains that fostering a child involves meticulous process to ensure the child's safety and well-being. One critical procedure is conducting thorough background check to confirm that no family members or other individuals are actively seeking the child. One, we do physical check up by making a physical visit to the scene where the child was abandoned. And then second, we connect with the air probation officer, a chair person where the child was abandoned. From there, we continue making a physical and remote checkup with the area chair person. As if that one is not enough, we continue and we go to media. This child is placed in newspaper advertisements. I also done on TV like there we are on Uganda Catholic Television. So that we can ascertain that truly this child has completely no one who is making a follow up on him. 
in bid to raise resources in bid to raise resources for the children's medical care and to support the efforts to trust their families. The Zambia Babies Home has organized a charity walk. This event aims to mobilize much needed resources to ensure the well being of the babies and enhance the home's capacity to reunite children with their families. Because of lack of funds to carry out the, this activity of tracing, so we decided to have uh, at least a charity work, fundraising charity work. We started it last year, and I see that it helped us a lot. So we are also having it this year. It is going to be an annual event. So as to, to raise money to cater for these children, especially in medical, then and the exercise of tracing and the reunification of these children. Of recent, we, we, we started picking the children from the police, they used to bring them here, but these days they just call us and we are the one who is speaking. That is also another additional whatever. So we need to, to think a lot and you have to do it together. And we want everyone to come on board, at least to, 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 to make sure that we, are, we, we raise these children together because they are, they are ours and the God is people we have to care. And this fundraising child work is going to help us raise some money. It's going to be on the 28th of September. And we thank God that the Archbishop is going to flag off the workers. He's also going to launch it on 2nd July next week. So when you happen to hear about it, kindly join us. You can just donate cash. You can come and buy working kits. You can donate any materials or food. Yeah, because we don't want them to come back in the, in the institution. You see, those who have grown up in an institution are admiring others who got families. So we are trying our level best to see that they get families, if, even if it's not a real, the biological family, but to get into a family which will take care of them. Nora Osende for UCTV News.